Everybody's concerned about the future of the country at this point, right? And and who is the best person to lead us? Do you when you look at President Biden right now, do you think that it is un safe for the country for him to be able to finish his term? You know, I think the country is in a more dangerous, precarious position than at any time since the Cuban Missile Crisis. We are, you know, we just we just authorize the bombing with cluster bombs, which are which is a war crime of civilians on a beach in Crimea. And the U.S. is, you know, participated in that missile attack and the Russians are actively and openly openly threatening to use nuclear weapons in this war and the Russians have better nuclear weapons than us they have more they have uh, they have a thousand to fifteen hundred more right. they are um, they we don't have the capacity at this time in our history to ramp up to fight that kind of war because we've given away our industrial base to China. You know, we had the industrial base in the 1930s and we could gear it up and produce material for the war. Hey, the Chinese own that base and we can't build anything in this country anymore. So, the you know, we still are in the mindset that we dominate the globe, but, you know, it all depends on the industrial base. You cannot dominate the globe like we're pretending yeah. to do, like President Biden no, I, thinks that he's doing. Okay. I think it's delusion, and I think we need a president who's actually looking at reality and is, you know, is trying to adjust our reality to the facts.